How's it going, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear. And I wanted to uh, speak on the events that have transpired lately. So apparently, Article 13 was passed. And, of course, that's been the the big talk and big scare of 2019. Maybe it was even back a little of 2018. <clears throat> but, yeah, it passed. So what that means is, now they're trying to crack down on copyrighted material. Basically, if a artist or a director sees part of their material in a YouTube video, for example, they can tell YouTube to take it down. And YouTube itself can be fined if they don't. Now, while this poses a really big problem, it also poses a deep interest. Because, see, I'm the kind of person that watches more than he speaks. <clears throat> so if things look odd, they feel odd. And when I think about it, it usually sounds and appears odd as well. Like, how interesting is it that net neutrality and Article 13 damn near came back to back? Why is the internet a place where lots of things get exposed, lots of people get exposed, where we all have the right to express ourselves freely, say whatever we want to say about whoever we want to say it about. I just find it so funny how the internet is getting attacked a lot lately. And for what reason? Why crack down on YouTube of all places? I mean, this whole want to crack down on copyright infringement thing, uh, it didn't need to go this far a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. Four years ago, why is it happening now? I mean, this whole entire time, you know, the, the biggest YouTubers have just had the videos that they used copyrighted material on. They weren't able to make money off of it. But isn't that the whole thing of copyright infringement? Taking somebody else's work and profiting off of it? Isn't that what copyright infringement is? So if these companies and these, you know, rights owners are able to put ads on a video and they can generate revenue, how is, you know, giving them the power to take the video down going to make a difference? If they can make money off of these videos, why would they take the videos down? Wouldn't that just hurt them? And I know I'm not going to try to say that copyrighted material is not a problem. People use copyrighted stuff all the time. But when you attack something as harmless as memes, there's a problem. Because memes make us laugh. We look forward to memes all year round. The lady talking about how she's got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes. We look forward to that every Thanksgiving. But now they want to try to get rid of that. And what does it do? Nothing. These memes, all of the, the, the editing in videos, does absolutely nothing. There are a few videos that even I have where I used a song and I didn't get a little copyright thing on it. Now, I've never gotten a copyright strike, but I've had videos not able to be monetized. Well, I mean, you know... Freaking reaction videos are freaking famous for it. But there are a couple of videos, at least one that I can think of right now, where I use a song that I don't own, but it was not flagged for copyright and demonetization. But I know there are other videos that are. Why is that? Because that's the difference. That they don't realize. 
They don't realize that all a artist or a creator has to do is allow their stuff to be used under certain circumstances. That's what fair use is. Taking a material that you don't own and using it for parody, informative, stuff like that. But I just find it so funny how Article 13 is being passed on a website protected by fair use. Where, where, where is fair use in all this? So you mean to tell me that it doesn't matter what laws are in place, they can just override them? And see, therein lies the thing. They try to get so many people out there to vote and everybody said no, but they still passed it. They still passed it, nonetheless. So basically, every single person that went out of their way was purposely ignored. For what reason? Why are you going to try to limit the freedom of these same people and then ignore them and expect them to like you? And most importantly, why is this happening over in the UK? Why is it happening over in the UK? Why are the 12 angry men getting together and trying to ruin the internet, trying to ruin YouTube? What do they hope to gain from it? Censorship. Because the internet, especially YouTube, that is the place where you can talk like you want to talk. Be whoever you want to be. Put yourself out there. But it's also the place where all of the mess of the world is talked about. It's also the place where all of the people behind that mess are talked about and exposed. So I just find it so funny how the platform that provides literally the greatest source of free speech has been attacked for not one, but two years in a row. First with net neutrality, now with Article 13. But guess what? This is what they don't realize. This is why you need to know your facts. These people clearly have never heard of non-copyrighted material. They've never heard of the words royalty-free. If I don't use any copyrighted material, what does Article 13 mean to me? Nothing. Nothing at all. If I want to put a funny sound in my video and it's a royalty-free sound. Do I still get my edit on? I still get my edit on. So they can go ahead and try to restrict our use, our fair use, but in the end, how do you think things like memes started in the first place? Somebody took a picture, wrote some funny text, put it on the internet, and it became a trend. You really think that memes are going to die? No, they're not. Because it only takes one person to make one and allow it to be spread. And then what are they going to say? Oh, we don't allow memes anymore. No, you say the people who own this copyrighted material have the right to get it removed. I own it. I say it stays. Then what? They're stuck. They're stuck. See, that's what happens when you have a mind like mine. Look for these loopholes in these little... Things that they try to do to us. Always stay wise. Always stay on the up. Always stay ready. They can try to come at us all they want. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm not going nowhere. 
I am not going anywhere. I am going to keep doing my thing. Article 13 can pass all at once. It's not going to stop me. Because if I don't use any copyrighted material, Article 13 does not affect me. Article 13 does not affect me. It does not affect you. So all you got to do is make sure that the stuff you use is not copyrighted. Heck, there are people out there that just ask you to give them a shout out. There are ways to get around this. You just got to know how. And if you don't, well, then you have reason to be afraid. And I could have been talking out my head this whole entire video, but this has all just been churning in my head for about mm, ever since I got to work, which I don't even remember how long ago that was. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd go ahead and I'd uh, speak on this and, you know, give my insight on things. Give the, the bare brain a little churning when it comes to all this. And I hope this video does well. I hope I hope it can, you know, alleviate some issues. Because they can write something down on a piece of paper all they want, but they have to list specific things. And as long as what you do does not go against those specific things, then it does not apply. It does not apply. So... I hope my insight has reached some quality ears. I appreciate all of you for watching. And, uh, yeah. Never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.